Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about three tips that I've been using on this Barista Touch Impress to get better results and also to answer some of the questions that you guys have been having. So the first thing you're going to see here is a dosing funnel and the reason that I bought this is because with the design of this machine you can't actually WDT uh, as it is. What you have to do is employ a little trick and we can do that with this funnel. So we're going to try WDT today and then what else I would like to show you is while you're grinding some people are saying that they get too much like 20-22 grams and I'm just going to show you kind of how I do it. I'll stop the grind if I don't want that much and you kind of just get a feel for it after a while. And then finally, what I've been experimenting a lot with is this little wedge. So this little wedge is really important for putting underneath your pitcher here when you're frothing automatically. That's going to help give it a little tilt so that you get a bit more swirl going on and a little bit creamier milk. So we're going to try that uh, at the end. So I figured it's morning time. I'd like to make myself a cappuccino. So let's just go ahead and do it. So what I'd like to show you first is my workflow. Now using this funnel it works with both types of portafilters. So you can put this one on the OEM portafilter. It fits perfect and it still has clearance to the drip tray here in order to be able to work. You can additionally put it on a bottomless one which is what I often tend to do. It doesn't fit quite as perfect on this one. It gets a little bit stuck but that doesn't matter. It still works so you can put that in there and, and there you see you got quite a bit of clearance so that works really good too. Let's just stick with the bottomless portafilter and what we're going to do is weigh it out and then that way we can see how much our dose is going to be. Stick that in there. I'm on a setting of 10 right now. I'm using pretty fresh beans. So these are good high quality beans that does make a difference. Let's give it a shot. All right, so I stopped it right there. And I think that's going to be just about what I want for my dose. 16.8. That's fine. I was going for somewhere between uh, 16 and 18 grams. So I'll take 16.8 and I'm going to take my handy dandy WDT tool and do a little WDT. So that that's kind of the nice thing here with this funnel is that you're able to do that. Uh, nice clear funnel and it's not very expensive. So it's a nice thing to use. And then what you can do is once you're done with your WDT, you can just kind of tamp it down a little bit like so remove the funnel then we're going to put it back here to tamp carefully so that you don't uh, shake up all the grounds. I'm going to tamp it. Now it's going to tell me probably that it is preferring a little bit more but it does give it a nice solid tamp and I'm going to just go down a few more times with that handle to polish it and then what you're left with is a nice puck right there. So that's what we're going to put into the machine. Here we go. Now what else we can do is measure out our shot here. So let's go ahead and do that. What I like to do often is just hold down on this button here so I can do it manually. I can start it and stop it manually. So I'm going to just start it. Okay. Now it's manual and I'm going to try to stop it at 35 grams. Excellent. So there's my shot. That is a very, very nice looking shot right there. So what we're going to do next is use my special trick with this wedge to get some creamier automatically steamed milk. Another tip that I'd like to give you is to use uh, pretty fatty milk. I find that 3.5, 3.8% milk works the best. All right, what we're going to do is dip this in there like we normally would and we're going to put this wedge in there to lift up the back end a bit. And that way it's going to give it a little bit of tilt, the tilt that it needs in order to be able to kind of froth the milk. 
So, but what we need to consider is that it needs to be here still on the temperature sensor, otherwise it's not going to work. So, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Let's choose our milk. I'm gonna put it on a froth of four, three, ah, let's go for that. All right. So what's interesting about this machine is that it's actually got, it's pumping steam, but it's also pumping air. It's got an air pump. And so the, the level that you put on here, that has to do with the amount of air that's injected purposely. And then it injects steam. And what we wanna do with this wedge here is get it to circulate better. So you can see it's starting to circulate a little bit more or kind of rotate more towards the back. And I'm hoping by the end it's gonna be nice and creamy. Almost done, 57, 58 degrees. All right, now it's starting to look pretty good. And now it's finished. Okay, so I can tell already that this is creamier than what it would have been certainly otherwise. Still got some bubbles in there, but it's, it's pretty nice and creamy in comparison to when I just do it completely automatically without that little wedge in there. Okay, now it's starting to look pretty good. Pretty nice and creamy now. Just all you have to do is kind of massage it a little bit, tap it, and now look at how nice and creamy it has become. Excellent. As you can see, I got the milk nice and creamy there. Still not the best latte art this time, but I have gotten excellent results uh, doing this. It does vary a bit. So the results that I'm getting using this trick, it still has some variance in it. It's still better to do it manually in my opinion, but I just kind of want to show you what I've been working on and I hope that these tips help you. All right, we're gonna just try it a second time here and see how that result turns out. Same trick as before with the wedge, put that sucker in there. Okay, second time, very frothy. That is a big time cappuccino. So let's just pour it in there. A little better and there you go alrighty thanks very much for watching the video I hope you liked it if so give it a like if you hated it give it a thumbs down either way thank you for watching see you next time and uh, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking bye now